Its days may be numbered, but that is not stopping a group of residents who want to save the old Bavarian brewery from the wrecking ball. The owner has filed the paperwork and now must wait for a hearing to approve the demolition. Local 12's Brad Underwood joins us now live in Covington with the effort to save the Bavarian. Brad. Good evening, Curtis. Uh, the building here has a very long history uh, in the city of Covington for more than 100 years. It was home to the Bavarian Brewery. More recently, the popular night spot, Jillian's, thousands of people pass by the historic building every day on I-7175, but those days could soon be gone. Quietly, the four picketers stand together on 12th Street in Covington, letting their signs do the talking. They inform drivers passing by that the historic building could soon meet the wrecking ball. Since 2008, the former Bavarian Brewing Company building has sat empty. It could be a lot of things. Um, I'm thinking with the resurgence of all the apartment building going on in the area, there's 10 or 12 of them going on right now in Cincinnati, that that's, that's the big focus. When Columbia Sussex bought the building six years ago, the focus was to make it a casino. That didn't happen. Now the owners want to level it. This building, even though it's 137 years old, it's built much better than buildings are today. So I do, don't believe the owner saying that it's, it's dilapidated, it's not worth anything. I've, I work in the construction industry as well, and I've gone through a lot of old buildings that have been gutted down to the concrete and the, and the stone, and they get rebuilt. They, they build them much better. I think this building has a lot of potential in it. The old brewery is on the National Register of Historic Buildings. However, that designation doesn't save it from being demolished. I fell in love with the old architecture of Covington and Newport. And I thought, you know, if I ever have a chance to move back here and buy an old house, I'm going to do it. And he did. John Nyland moved back in 2011 and is now joining the fight to save Covington's history. Again, Columbia Sussex owns the property and can do whatever it wants with it. Now, the next week, eight, nine days, could be interesting. A Covington development plan could actually protect the property, the building, from being demolished. However, the uh, Urban Design Review Board can overturn that decision. The next review board meeting is a week from tomorrow. Reporting live in Covington, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. Curtis. Interesting story. Brad, thank you. Newberry says close to 900 people have signed the online petition to save the building. The building's owner, Columbia Sussex, did not return our calls today. It has said it will not make any public comment on the demolition.